Jenny Bond had her fair share of Christmases with the royals, or at least watching them walk to church. The 73-year-old was the BBC's royal correspondent from 1985 until 2003, enjoying a front-row seat to some of the family's biggest milestones and dramas. With such a deep understanding of the establishment, and a working relationship with the senior members, knowing some of them from birth, she has her opinion about Prince Harry not having Christmas in the UK. The Duke is spending the festive period with his wife Meghan Markle, 42, and their two children Prince Archie, 4, and Princess Lilibet, 2, at their Montecito mansion, 5,500 miles away from the traditional royal family Christmas in Sandringham, Norfolk. And Jenny thinks he is probably pretty happy about that. She told OK. Magazine, in all honesty, as he dons a pair of shorts, and romps around in the Californian Christmas sunshine with his kids, I'm not sure he will miss being wrapped up in winter coats and being on parade on the walk to church at Sandringham. The Mirror U.S. Hugh Hefner's wife reveals what Christmas was really like at the Playboy Mansion the last time the Sussexes spent Christmas with the Royals was in 2018. The couple had yet to welcome Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Harry and Meghan are said to have joined the late Queen Elizabeth II for her annual lunch at Buckingham Palace on December 19 that year. It came seven months after the couple had got married in their royal wedding. The pair later reportedly spent Christmas Day with the late monarch at Sandringham. Other guests are said to have included Prince Harry's brother Prince William, now 41, his wife Kate Middleton, now 41, and their three children although it's claimed that Prince Harry, 39, and Meghan, 42. Haven received an invitation to join his family, it's been suggested that the couple would consider accepting one. It would mark their first Christmas with his relatives in years. Yesterday King Charles and Queen Camilla were joined by Prince William, Kate Middleton the Princess of Wales, and their three children for the family's annual morning of prayer at St. Mary Magdalene's Church, which is on the cusp of their sprawling estate. As well as the three Cambridge kids, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, other minor royals were in attendance including Zara and Mike Dindill and their children, plus the king's disgraced brother Prince Andrew and his ex-wife Sarah Ferguson. With so many pictures of his family looking united, and with so many happy memories of his own time with the firm, Jenny expects Harry to have felt a mixture of feelings, especially as he is currently not getting on with his dad and brother. She said, Christmas can be a deeply emotional time for many people, especially when there is a family rift. So, I'm sure Harry will have a thought or two for his family back home and hopefully he will repeat his birthday phone call to his pa with a Christmas call, although Omid Scobie's book may have undone the progress that was made then. The last time the Sussexes spent Christmas with the Royals was in 2018, before the birth of their children. Harry and Meghan are said to have joined the late Queen Elizabeth II for her annual lunch at Buckingham Palace on December 19 that year. It came seven months after the couple had got married in a huge internationally televised royal wedding. The pair later reportedly spent Christmas Day with the late monarch at Sandringham. Follow the Mirror U.S. News page on Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Threads.